Hi, I'm John Byrne with Poets and Quants. You're watching our MBA Profile of the Week from MBA Watch, sponsored by Gatehouse Admissions. We have a really interesting candidate today. We'll call him Mr. Classic Engineer. For just over six years, he's worked as an engineer on defense projects. He's a graduate of Dartmouth College, mechanical engineering major, 3.29 GPA. I'm gonna round that up for you. Take a 3.3. Uh, he's got a really good GMAT score, 750. He also has a master's in mechanical engineering from the University of Connecticut where he got a 4.0 GPA. White male, 28 years of age, and his target school, the school that he loves the most and wants to go into the MPA program is MIT Sloan. Now we happen to have with us a Sloaney and a former Bainey in Liza Wheel, the founder of Gatehouse Admissions, to give us her take on this candidate. Liza, hi. Hi, John. Um, well, Mr. Classic Engineer, I, I have to say there is just such a huge pool of engineers trying to get into MIT Sloan that my biggest advice for Mr. Classic Engineer, though it pains me to say it, think beyond MIT Sloan. Um, there are other schools that can certainly help you reach your goals. Um, and, and you just want to be prepared for the ultra competitive nature of Sloan. Yeah, that's really true. And he's, he's looking to, I, I'm sure, leverage his uh, experience in engineering, but to kind of get away from it. He says he's looking to get leadership and business experience for the MBA to move into product management or a strategy role for an engineering or manufacturing company. And you can do that uh, with an MBA from a lot of different schools. What other schools do you think he should be looking at? To your point, it's almost like the thing he needs most is the, the bread and butter MBA. I think he should be looking at Kellogg. He should be looking at Darden. He should be looking at uh, Duke. Uh, Duke and Ross I, are on my list in part because he went undergrad to Dartmouth. Um, and I think he should also consider his uh, the, the business school at his alma mater. He should consider Tuck. I think any of these will give him that solid management training and that um, that that business acumen that would allow him then to go into more of a leadership position. Dartmouth Tuck would be terrific for him. Uh, and they would love that 750 GMAT. Yeah. Uh, they definitely wouldn't. They would love having back someone who graduated from uh, Dartmouth College for sure. Are there any other aspects of this profile um, that make it stand out to you? I mean, he is a white male, uh, but he has a jumbo GMAT score and an Ivy League degree. And his experience seems pretty solid, right? I mean, it's great that he went and pursued his master's while working and got a 4.0. That's going to signal to the schools, you know, these these schools, they, they're picky. They want to see a nice, uh, heavy GPA, um, and they're going to see that 3.3 and recognize that it's a rigorous degree in mechanical engineering. But nevertheless, that number, you know, they wouldn't mind if it were a little bit higher. That 4.0 and the master's program will give them reassurance that, you know, it, it, his GMAT and his his skills, his academic chops are really strong, and he he can dedicate himself and get that um, get that A in the classroom, so to speak. I think the things that I would want to dig into is who is he out of work? Who you know what? Where are his passions? Um, how is he involved in the community or just engaging in the world around him? Sloan in particular wants to see someone putting their their thinking skills to good use to to change. The way things um, the way things are currently going. True, and let's face it, the 750 is going to make a lot of people stand up straight. Uh, yes, I mean this guy, even though he's an engineer and wanting to go to MIT Sloan, I would bet you that in the pool there are not a lot of defense contractor uh, engineers in that pool, because there aren't that many of them that want to go and get an MBA. No doubt, if he does make it in, he'll make an ex excellent contribution to the class. Oh, uh, no doubt about that. Now. Liza, let me press you on what are his odds at MIT Sloan? You being a Sloaney and now as admissions counselor and founder at Gatehouse, 
I'm sure people ask you all the time, well, what do you think my chances are? I wish I could be more bullish, but I'm being bearish. I, I'm going to say 10%. So I'm coming in a little lower than Sloan's um, overall acceptance rate. And it's only because he is coming from that over-concentrated pool of engineering. I hope I'm wrong, though. I hope you're wrong, too. But I think that's your advice to apply to a wider range of schools is absolutely right on. Uh, in fact, I would even argue that there could be uh, schools out there that might even be a better fit for what his goals are. Mm -hmm. All right, Liza, thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Thank you, John. Take care. So there you have it. If you're an engineer and you apply to MIT Sloan, you better make sure that all your ducks are in a row because you're going to be competing against probably the most severe competition in any applicant pool among engineers because they get so many of them. This is John Byrne with Poets and Quants. Thanks for watching our MBA Watch Profile of the Week, sponsored by Gatehouse Admissions. Mm -hmm.